Now to a story from the lakeshore. The Old West has come to northeast Wisconsin as 45 people are traveling by wagon train through Door and Kiwani counties. Local 5's Chris Schuler caught up with these pioneers living history on the move. On a sunny day out on the Anape Trail, the sights and sounds of the Wisconsin frontier come to life as the history on the move wagon train rolls on by. You can smell the cedar trees, you can smell the lilacs, see the deer, see the birds, hear the birds, and um, just unwind a little bit. 20 years ago, Gary Colts's father led a two-week-long ride from Prairie du Chien to Green Bay to mark the state's sesquicentennial. This year's wagon train marks that anniversary. He started this whole... <laughs> I don't want to say mess, but he started this whole situation and uh, we just wanted to carry it on. We wanted the old covered wagons, traditional clothing, um, horses, wooden wheels, steel rims, such as that. Um, we wanted to keep it historic. The wagon train will travel from Sturgeon Bay to Kiwani, 50 miles over four days, with six covered wagons and many more horse riders moving slowly through the Wisconsin countryside. Many have made this trip before, all dressed in period clothing. We're supposed to look the part so we can be in costume for four or five days. Yeah and stay in costume, you know, as long as there's outside folks around. The sight of covered wagons powered by so many horses is sure to attract a lot of attention. I think it's fabulous. I said it's like Little House on the Prairie days. It makes you feel good um, just to, to hopefully bring some joy to people and make them chuckle or, or just be odd, you know. It's a history lesson for all to see being lived out on the Anape Trail. Reporting in Kiwani County, Chris Schuler, Local 5 News. Thanks, Chris. And that group is going to end their ride at Heritage Farm on Highway 42 outside of Kiwani sometime tomorrow.